Hello YouTube, this is Christonian, and we're back with RimWorld. As you can see, we're up to the new build here. Uh, build 1.334, we're at 256 before. And the big changes are stockpiles. Now we actually stockpile everything, and we have to move everything to actually get stuff built. We have to have food near our... Uh, paste dispenser. We have a adaptive uh, tutor now, so it'll see how we actually play the game and then give recommendations built on that or based on that. Uh, modding has been implemented. Menu art, as you can see, this uh, basis menu, and you'll see after this when we actually pick our uh, the, peep, the, the AI storyteller. Actually, it each has art now. And then character art. Plus, massive creative content was implemented, so we'll have all unique names, uh, good backstories on all the characters, and such like that. And even if you just look at the art, it's pretty cool. So your ship's crashed. I don't know if that's people moving along the roads. I think that's just clouds. It looks like the town's over here. So let's jump in. We're going to do a new colony. So here we go. Chill Kaylee uh, Classic, uh, Cassandra Classic, Phoebe. Uh, let's just see if there's any difference. No, not in the art, at least. Phoebe uh, Friendly. I'm just admiring the art right now. It's pretty cool. Randy Random. <laughs> and uh, if you guys have seen, if you go to the website, they actually do release the art a little bit early, so I did see this about a week or two ago, uh, before the, the startup of this. And once we get our uh, base going, I'll uh, explain what happened on my end and why I was, uh, I was a little bit late. Ha! Huh. So now there's three names. Short Identifier, and then Character's Last Name. So right now it's a Spoiled Child and a test subject. So, pretty much a killing machine. Let's just randomize this. That's not too bad. And we get a Benjamin, which is my little brother's name. So we'll keep with that. We got a farmer's boy. Benjamin's parents died in a fire when he was seven. He grew up on his uncle's farm, plowing the fields and doing manual labor. He could not bear answering questions about his parents, so he replaced social contact with hard work. Warden disabled, doctoring disabled, even firefighting disabled. Crafting plus two, social minus three, uh, mining plus one, drawing plus four, and construction. Adulthood. Ben joined the army as a worker and spent most of his time cooking and repairing. While he was stationed on dangerous planets, or plant. Uh, he underwent basic training and survival training. Two to construction, minus two to research, two to shooting, two to melee, three to cooking, minus two to medicine, one to crafting. Uh, warden, doctoring, and firefighting again uh, disabled. He's a mind reader. Ah, they still haven't added that. And a eidetic memory, I believe that's, uh, he can see it once and then it's in his memory forever and ever. So the artist, seven research, 11 artistic. Ten mining, so this guy will be our miner. Or girl, I guess. Veronica Keith, scout. Born to a colonial administrator from a small imperial power, Veronica was enrolled in a youth program that taught military scouting skills. She learned to survive in the wilderness, to obey, and not to ask questions. One to construction, three to shooting, two to crafting, and researching disabled. Adulthood, a deep space miner, Veronica did the sweaty, grimy work of pulling metal out of asteroids on a deep space rig. She used her hands on industrial skills daily and wasn't bad in a bar fight either. Three to construction, seven to mining, and two to melee. She can't do 
artist and intellectual. She has nightmares, and she's that grown baby. I'm just trying to get some well-rounded characters. This is not bad. This is probably what I'm going to keep, so we have a little bit of a guy with a decent research, and his crafting's way up there, too. So a mechanoid nerd. Marcus Kunig, I guess. Kunig grew up in an herb world as the only child of a pair of mechanoid designers. They encouraged his interest in the machines. Eventually, he became obsessed with building his own. Unfortunately, this also led to uh, him being a loner as preferred uh, technical books to friends. Two to construction, three to research, minus two to social, and two to crafting. In his adulthood, he was a military engineer. Worked as an engineer for uh, the military. He got to play with weapons, murder drones, and other fun stuff. <laughs> he specialized in repairing and modifying mechanites tools. Sometimes he tested them himself. Uh, three to construction, three to shooting, one to melee, four to crafting. He has a nose job and he's artistic. And nothing is banned on this guy. Huh, there's an advanced button now. Ah, okay, so that's the actual world size. We'll go with a 200 for 200 from now. And it's a fresh jump into the game so I will have no idea on uh, how this new mechanic works. I understand that uh, I have to keep the food and the and everything else close together and I have to keep it close to the dispenser and now if I have starving issue and there's no food for the people to eat ooh, Maybe a wall there, uh, just a little wall there, and then a wall there. Well, that's pretty good too. Mm. Uh, just keep food near your dispenser, and uh, even if power's out, they'll eat raw food then, because now it's actually on the field at all times. You will have a pile of food and stuff like that. figure out where I want to go. I think here would be good. And then we could expand out to there later when I mine through there. Because there's one, two, three metal deposits right there that I can take advantage of. Yeah, yeah. And let's look at the art. Looks like he's wearing kind of like a robe almost. Let's see if there's anything uh, new. Just seems like guilt. Uh, Veronica here. Looks like a regular. And Ben. Our cook. And then we can forbid those. And forbid those. I'm going to go to the overview. And. Get rid of mining on him. Get rid of mining on him. And he doesn't have to haul because. Or she doesn't. Because she'll be our main miner. I'm going to also go orders. Mine all that. Let's just check everything. So we still have our home regions. Regular grow up. Uh, nothing new that I can see. The hopper. So that's new. And that's about it. Let's check our research. And seems about the same. Okay, so let's jump in here. Uh, I will also... So that's our main storage, I guess. That's our dump pile. You also need a launch pad now to receive and launch uh, resources into space for trade. I'm going to set up Yeah, 
that post marker thing. Huh. I think I can put it over the sock file somehow. So anyways, we'll get them on that. Nope. Oh, look at that. We got two guns this time. Blue rifle and a pistol. So let's go over our characters again. We have six shooting. Uh, five shooting. Six shooting. So I'm going to put Veronica on the lead rifle and Marcus on the pistol. Oh, there's one gun for everything. So that's pretty nice. Nice little bonus. So it's silver. Cool. So that must be money. There's silver all over the place. Uh, I'm going to go overview and take her off growing and plant cutting. So she focus, focuses just on mining. Let's just double click on this. Unlimited. And there is metal all over the place. Ooh, there's a geyser. Maybe I should have went for that. <coughs> Tell me what you guys think. Ooh, there's a... Because mm, I could always move my base. I can mine as much as I can out of there, build across here, build there, and connect this. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what you guys would like to see. And we can make this our funnel. Make a funnel in here with the explosives and stuff like that. Gonna speed it up a little bit. So they are cutting down all the shrubbery and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if they would do that automatically or not. A potato. 1.5 days. We'll see how much can fit in one pile. 75 metal. So we can only store so much metal now without expanding, of course. So let's do order structure wall. What the heck? Well, I guess they just planted down plans for now. I have to say, I like the art. It gives a character to each person. Now there's curves on women and different body types for different people. So that works out nicely. Need meal source. Well, worst case scenario, they can eat raw potatoes for now as we establish our actual base. Oh, God. Lucky and Victor. Victor is a brigand. Five shooting, eight melee, and Lucky is a Ludite. A Ludite rebel. When the majority of the people on his world chose to give up their individuality and bi uh, biological humanity to join together to be an online hive, Lucky joined a rebel faction that chose to forsake most technology. Three to construction, two to mining, three to melee, and researching totally disabled. He's cowardly and pious, which means religious, and he's honest. Sometimes. Okay, so where are they? Down there. So we'll just hope that this doesn't create a roof over it. So it didn't, so that's good. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to make a small room right off the get-go. Just in case, uh, we get to capture one of those guys. Again, I'm just letting them come to us. Yes, I could go after them and 
start the fight, but that's okay. What are you guys doing? At least they're not paying attention. Okay. Let's assemble and go hunt. Let's uh, set up over here first. And we're going to call that an episode. So thanks for coming by, guys. Feel free to post some comments. And you guys will see the, the hunt on the next episode. Okay, bye for now. Uh, also post any name ideas. Bye for now. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.